Let's open up Visual Studio 2019. I'm going to click on Create a New Project. Select C++ right here, and click on Console App. Next, I'm going to create a folder, a brand new folder for all of our tutorial projects. Put it wherever you want. I'm just going to create a new folder, call it C++ Tutorial Projects. Go in there, select folder. I'm going to name my project, call it whatever you want, my first console window, create. Now you can press control, hold down control and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. I like my letters big. You're going to run into words like debug, compile, build. For this video, let's not worry about that. I'm going to explain everything in due time. I'm just going to be using ambiguous words for this video, like run program, run your code. And if you press Control F5. So here we see our very first console window. Hello world. When you're starting out, you're not going to understand anything here. But for now, let's just look at this line. Without understanding anything, it's pretty obvious that if you use the exact same line, I'm just going to type, I'm going to type my first sentence. This is a backslash, by the way, upper right side next to your backspace. Control S to save. And if you run this, you'll see that we have our first sentence. Notice what happens when I do this. C out. Here's my second. I'm going to press enter. Here's my second sentence. We get an error message here. If you want to change the line, you have to do this. Here you see it. You can also do this if you want the same result. You can do this, end of the line. Oops. Okay. If you want to use enter, you can use this command. I believe this stands for raw string, but whatever it is, you can be pressing enter inside this command. And here you see the result. So nothing too fancy here, we're just putting out text. But you can get rather creative with this, like here, or this. Your first homework assignment, Google stuff like text art, find some nice images, and print it out in your console window. One, I just want you to get used to using Visual Studio. And two, understand that you can be creating an entire video game. Well, not exactly a video game, but a full game just using text and symbols. And even without the modern day graphics, you should still be able to express certain abstract ideas of a video game in code. So print stuff out in your console window. You can share whatever you have on my Discord server. I have all the links below. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.